The Liturgy of the Hours is the official public prayer of the Church. It is a source of nourishment for personal prayer. It is devised so that the whole course of the day and night will be made holy by praising God. We will now have the Office of Readings and the Morning Prayer of the Church. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Thank you. O sacred feast, in, in which, which you partake, partake of Christ, Christ his sufferings suffering. are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, we receive the pledge of glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, you gave give us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship, worship this sacrament of our body, body and blood. Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him. The dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord, do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mary bind Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for sake endured temptation and suffering. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, 
who forsake endure temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who forsake endure temptation and suffering. have told us the story of the things you did in their days you yourself in days long ago to plant them you uprooted the nations to let them spread you laid people slow no sword of their own won the land no arm of their own brought them victory it was your right hand your arm and the light of your face, for you love them. It is you, my King, my God, who granted victories to Jacob. Through you we beat down our foes. In your name we trampled our aggressors. For it was not in my bow that I trusted, nor yet was I saved by my sword. It was you who saved us from our foes. It was you who put our foes to shame. All day long our boast was in God, and we praised your name without ceasing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Spare us, O Lord, do not bring your own people into contempt. Yet now you have rejected us, disgraced us. You no longer go forth with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe, and make and our enemies plunder us at will. You make us like sheep for the slaughter, and scatter us among the nations. You sell your own people for nothing, 
and make no profit by the sale. You make us the taunt of our neighbors, the laughing stock of all who are near. Among the nations you make us a byword, among the peoples a thing of derision. All day long my disgrace is before me, my face is covered with shame. At the voice of the taunter, the scoffer, at the sight of the foe and avenger. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Rise up, O Lord, and save us, for you are merciful. This befell us, though we had not forgotten you, though we had not been false to your covenant, though we had not withdrawn our hearts, though our feet had not strayed from your path, yet you have crushed us in a place of sorrows and covered us with the shadow of death. Had we forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to another God, would not God have found this out? He who knows the secrets of the heart, it is for you that we face death all day long, and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Arise, not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face from us and forget our oppression and misery? For we are brought down low to the dust. Our body lies prostrate on the earth. Stand up and come to our help. Redeem us because of your love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. From the letter to the Hebrews. Since we have a great high priest who was, who was passed to the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession of faith. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet never sinned. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and favor and to find help in time of need. Every high priest is taken from among men and made the representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with erring sinners, for he himself is beset by weakness and so must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. One does not take this honor on his own initiative, but only when called by God as Aaron was. Even Christ did not glorify himself with the office of high priest. He received it from the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to God, who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Designated by God as high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek.
Though he was the Son of God, Christ learned obedience through what he suffered. And now for all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal life. In the days of his earthly life, he prayed crying aloud, and he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. And now for all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal life. From an Easter homily by St. Melito of Sardis, Bishop. There was much proclaimed by the prophets about the mystery of the Passover. That mystery is Christ, and to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. For the sake of suffering humanity, he came down from heaven to earth clothed himself in that humanity in the virgin's womb and was born of men. Having then a body capable of suffering, he took the pain of fallen man upon himself. He triumphed over the disease of soul and body that were its cause, and by his spirit, which was incapable of dying, he dealt man's destroyer death, a fatal blow. He was led forth like a lamb. He was slaughtered like a sheep. He ransomed us from our servitude to the world as he had ransomed Israel from the land of Egypt. He freed us from our slavery to the devil as he had freed Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. He sealed our souls with his own spirit and the members of our body with his own blood. He is the one who covered death with shame and cast the devil into mourning, as Moses cast Pharaoh into mourning. He is the one who smote sin and robbed his iniquity of offspring, as Moses robbed the Egyptians of their offspring. He is the one who brought us out of slavery into freedom, out of darkness into light, out of death into life, out of tyranny into an eternal kingdom, who made us a new priesthood, a people chosen to be his own forever. He is the Passover that is our salvation. It is he who endured every kind of suffering in all those who, foresh who foreshadowed him. In Abel, he was slain. In Isaac, bound. In Jacob, exiled. In Joseph, sold. In Moses, exposed to die. He was sacrificed in the Passover lamb, persecuted in David, dishonored in the prophets. It is he who was made man of the virgin, he who was hung on the tree. It is he who was buried in the earth, raised from the dead, and taken up to the heights of heaven. He is the mute lamb, the slain lamb, the lamb born of Mary, the fair you. He was seized from the flock dragged off to be slaughtered, sacrificed in the evening, and buried at night. On the tree no bone of his was broken. In the earth his body knew no decay. He is the one who rose from the dead, and who raised man from the depths of the tomb. Everyone has sinned and is deprived of God's glory. We are justified through the free gift of His grace and through the redemption of Christ Jesus.
God made Christ's sacrificial death the means of expiating the sins of all believers. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. God made Christ's sacrificial death the means of expiating the sins of all believers. Look, O Lord, and see my suffering. Come quickly to my aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back, let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, to plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is blocked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen. The man you have given your strength and we shall never forsake you again give us life that we may call upon your name god of hosts bring us back let your face shine on us and we shall be saved glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God is my Savior. I trust in Him and shall not fear. I give you thanks, O Lord. Though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. 
with joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day give thanks to the lord acclaim his name among the nations make known his deeds proclaim how exalted is his name sing praise to the lord for his glorious achievement that this be known throughout all the earth shout with exaltation of city of zion for great in your midst is the holy one of israel glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has fed us with the finest sweet. He has filled us with honey from the rock. joy to God our strength shout in triumph to the God of Jacob raise a song and sound a timbrel the sweet sounding harp and the lute blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast for this is Israel's law a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed, freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Mary, but I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of, of an alien god. I am your the Lord, Lord, your, your God, God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hands against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, that through God's gracious will, he might test date for the sake of all men. Indeed, it was fitting that when bringing many sons to glory, God, for whom and through whom all things exist, should make their leader in the work of salvation perfect through suffering.
By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you brought us back to God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. By your own blood, Lord, you brought us back to God. I have longed to eat this meal with you before I suffer. Blessed be the Lord, a God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I have longed to eat this meal with you before I suffer. The Father anointed Christ with the Holy Spirit to proclaim forgiveness to those in bondage. Let us humbly call upon the eternal priest. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. We pray. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. For our Pope, College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those for whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who celebrating their birthday today, especially our brothers, Father Jerry Manglangit Opi and Father Greg Gregory Opi. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. On the cross, you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. We pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us make our prayers and praise complete. 
by offering the Lord's Prayer. infinite compassion to love you is to be made holy fill our hearts with your love by the death of your son you have given us hope born of faith by his rising again fulfill this hope in the perfect love of heaven where he lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen go in peace thanks be to God <laughs>